Okay, so let's now come up to adolescence. Um, is, by this time, we're talking about the lack of continuity pretty much, is uh, attachment security rated to adolescent adjustment? And does it uh, predict anything after taking into account current parenting? So the thing called the child attachment interview, which I don't have time to show you now, you ask, tell me three questions about your parent, uh, give me three adjectives, they're warm, they're nice, they're quite tough, uh, give you some examples, and again, rather like the adult attachment if you give them examples. But actually, if you measure current parenting, maybe all that is is a picture of what's going on in the minute, how my mum was to me in the last month. Um, and the question is, what kind of parenting predicts security? Um, uh, I won't show you that to you. So we took quite a lot of 248 teenagers of different risk levels, um, where we did lots of measures of them. Um, and yes, as you suggested, Pasco, uh, attachment security was related to disruptive behavior, correlation of around 0.3. Um, um, but then the question is, does attachment predict anything after, as we measured it, we measured it quite thoroughly, questionnaires, interviews, direct observation, did it predict? Um, and it did, yes, it, it, it seemed to be important. Uh, it wasn't just current parenting quality predicting whether children go bad, their attachment representation did predict something. So it's as if they're carrying something around in them that mattered beyond how their parents were them to now. Um, <clears throat> But, and interestingly, again, sensitive responding was uh, attack associated with uh, security, but limit setting and supervision as well in adolescence was important, which is less talked about in the classic attachment. Uh, that actually uh, some psychoanalytic writers talk about containment, um, and it's as if you're doing that, which is setting limits in a fair way. So I think attachment in adolescence is more than just a readout of how you're currently being parented. Um, but limit setting and uh, consistent supervision is important as well. Um, we've just recently uh, finished a follow-up study from early childhood to uh, early adolescence. So this is four, five, six-year-olds to um, between 10 and 17-year-olds um, to see what predicts uh, security. So this is the outcome measure using the child attachment thing. Uh, we did measure that in a three different task. You've got 500 quid for the family. Can you and your mum discuss how you're going to spend it? Are you going to go to Alton Towers? A bit risky. Um, or what are you going to do with this money? And you code them for how much they're thoughtful to each other, take turns, and sensitive and aggressive. Um, we then go on to the Hot Topics task where we say, what's the most annoying thing about your mum? <laughs> she's boring, she won't buy me a new Xbox 4, or whatever it may be. She criticises me, won't let me go out at night. And vice versa, the parent says, well, the most annoying thing is about their kids not doing their homework, never grateful for all the food they get, whatever it may be. Um, and so that's called the Hot Topics task, and we code that. Um, and uh, that's still correlated uh, quite well. Um, then the question is, is there continuity in the parenting? Uh, were the parents uh, who were eight years ago sensitive responding on this little task or, I mean, a lot's happened. Uh, they've grown up, um, and it's a little, tiny, little 20, 30 minute task. It did, it correlated quite a lot in developmental psychology. So those parents who were sensitive before were also sensitive later. Uh, then the question is whether, once you take into account the current sensitive responding, would the child, as it were, have a memory of what had been happening earlier? The answer was modest but true, even after taking account current parenting. It is as if these adolescents, or you and me when we were young, are still carrying around not just how your parents are to you now, but what they were like before. I and mean, of course, there are lots of other things that could have contributed to that, but it was nonetheless quite interesting. Final